The library is officially open. This show is really a sisterhood. Of course, there's conflict. I can just walk in your house and smell. You can't cook. <laughs> but we have a good time. Behind the scenes of the hottest show on the Vegas Strip. What's the worst thing that happened? If you're not watching RuPaul's Drag Race live on Tuck, hell, you crazy. Premieres April 17th only on WOW Presents Plus. A vegan audience versus like your regular tours, your regular shows. What is the energy like uh, in terms of like that difference? Is there a difference and is it more special in a way? That Vegas audience is turned up. They are there, they understand the assignment, and they have been pre-gaming it, they're liquored up, they're ready to see some drag and some glitter and some stones, and they show up for the girls. They love the show, they're fans of Drag Race, and so they're living their best life, and that makes us live our best life. I mean, like, when we're touring and we're, we're, we're outperforming, we have, like, the majority of RuPaul's Drag Race fans so they are the most excited and the most ecstatic to see us and then when you come here to vegas you have um couples and you have heterosexual people that that are fans and like it's electric too but it's like some days you don't know what you're gonna get like <laughs> <laughs> After that first, after the first thing, we'd be like, oh my God, what's wrong with them? You know? <laughs> what do you think uh, Live Untucked offers uh, like a fan of the Drag Race franchise that you wouldn't necessarily get from the main series? Um, for my piece, I think it offers a lineup of girls that you would never see together in any sort of other franchise. The reason why this cast is together is because we're all working. We've all been like employed to work this live review. And I don't foresee like any sort of cast that would include people like ranging from like Latrice to Lawrence to Pangina to Derek to me. It's like from like new people to winners to people who have done all stars like three or four times to people who have only been on once to people from like international franchises and judges. Like it is one of the most eclectic groups of girls that you'll only be able to find at like the Vegas show itself. And I hate to say this because I know Rue's going to kill me. I enjoyed this more than actually. Um filming the show because this, at least we were not in competition with each other mm -hmm. and we were able to kind of let our hair down a little bit more. Um, but as far as the difference between this and the show in Vegas, I mean, you're actually trying to like, you're actually leaving your mark. This mm -hmm. is like, it's like a big deal. I mean, it's billboards, it's um, on taxi cabs and the airport, it's, it's everywhere. And then people come and you're there. It's crazy. Um, I'm kind of used to that because I've been doing it for years, but it's new for people like Lawrence. And I'm just happy to experience it with Lawrence um, and a few of the other girls. It's really amazing. Yeah, I mean, that that's, I, I mean, I agree with Coco. I, filming Drag Race is very, it's an amazing opportunity, but it is very stressful. It mm. is a high stress environment because we we know what happens. It's someone goes home every week and you don't want to be that person. Whereas, you know, in this show, there's no eliminations. You know, you, you turn up, do your thing and you're out, you know. So what I love about this is there's the only stress is like, oh, no, will I remember my choreo? Will I, you know, oh, will I get in my costume in time? So when it's when it's kind of small things like that, yeah. you can rehearse more or you can like put a chunkier zip in the outfit to make it easier. Like there are so many ways to make this easier for you. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you, Coco's one of the funniest drag queens I've ever met in my life. And it, and, and you wouldn't think because you, you're thinking, oh, Bianca Del Rio's the comedy queen or what. But when I tell you Coco is the funniest person, and when I first met her, I was like, why are they not filming this? Mm. Like, am I in Big Brother right now where, like, these mirrors have a camera behind it? Like, what is happening? Because she just needed filmed. And this, I, I think, Coco, you're the star of this show. I, oh. I truly thought that when we filmed it, obviously, like, we we don't know how the edit went or, like, we don't have any part in that. You know, Coco's not like editing raw footage mm. in her spare time. 
shockingly. But um, but but you know, I I think she's the star of it. I think you showed so much more than you showed on your original season. Truly, when you are able to be a part of something so historical, um, it's like put it like I feel like I'm not only leaving my footprints in the sand, but like part of this time capsule. Mm -hmm. And and like, you don't know how long this is gonna last. You don't know where this is gonna go, but for right now, this is it. You know what I mean? Like we've, we've all done every aspect of this job from television to film to theater. I've done it all, you know what I mean? And um, being on the Vegas stage, there's something different about the feeling that I have when I step out that I don't get anywhere else.